I just really haven't been sleeping well. Yeah. I've had this pain in my back and neck, like a tingling sensation. Okay. That's great that you scheduled an appointment for a head to toe assessment today. Tell me more about the tingling sensation on your back. When did that begin? Like a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. Yes. Mm. And is it um, intermittent? Does it come and go? Or is it constant? The tingling comes and goes. The like numbing kind of pain mm. feeling is pretty uh, consistent. Okay, so consistent numbness in your back. And can you localize where the numbness happened in the tingling sensation? Around here, and then it keeps going down, and sometimes like up. Oh, okay. So it radiates up towards your your neck, your cervical spine. Mm -hmm. And do you feel any tingling sensations on the top of your head, on your scalp? No, but sometimes it is on my face. On your face? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you made any changes to your lifestyle, your diet, how much you exercise? No, it's just the lack of sleep. Um, okay. Okay. okay, so you're having trouble sleeping at yes. night as well. Okay. Have you tried anything to help with that? Not really. Hmm. Okay. Well, I do recommend meditation, um, any breathing exercises that can help you relax and quiet your mind. And you can also try ASMR videos from YouTube. I have a great channel, it's called Luna Lux ASMR, that can help you sleep really relaxed. Oh, that's great. I definitely will take your advice. Okay, wonderful. So what I'm going to do today is perform a head to toe examination. I'll mm -hmm. focus on your head, your skin, your back. I'll perform a couple of skin sensitivity tests and sensory tests so that we can really you know, get down to the bottom of what's hurting you, hopefully. I hope so too, thank you. Right. So I'm just gonna put on my gloves and then we can begin the assessment. Are you on any new medications, Sarah? No. And are you allergic to any medication or any substances? No, 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 no. During the head to toe assessment, I'm also going to assess the state of the 12 cranial nerves that begin in your brain and move down throughout your body and control the movements, sensations, your five senses. Okay. So I'm going to begin by just uh, feeling your head and I'll be looking for overall cranial symmetry, any lumps or bumps, and if you feel sore or tender at any point, feel free to stop. Okay. down on your head? Oh, no. No, it's okay, just when you get to my neck. Yeah, right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how sore is this spot here? 5. 5. So what I'm going to do next is a scalp check and I'm going to be brushing your hair and trying to trigger any particular tingling sensation. So feel free to stop me if you feel them.
can move your head towards your left for me. I'm not seeing any signs of any folliculitis, no psoriasis, no patches of dryness, no dandruff, and this color of your scalp blends well with the color of your face and your neck, and it is appropriate to your ethnicity. Let's take a look over on the other side. Alright Sarah, so next up I'm going to focus on your face. So go ahead and close your eyes for me and look straight. I'm just going to palpate the face and just inspect it. The visual inspection of it first. The skin is reactive to my touch. I'm not seeing any blues or grays. No signs of any inflammation. No psoriasis. I'm not seeing any scars. Okay. Right, I'm also going to check the symmetry of your eyebrows. I see that they have almost the same amount of hair um, they're filled in really well so no signs of any concern there keep your eyes closed and your head straight for me and i'm just going to make sure that i check their symmetry from the top of your nose to the end of your right eyebrow okay that's symmetric from the beginning of your eyebrow to the end on the left side and the right side okay that's symmetric from the end of your eyebrow to the middle of your nose and from the middle of your nose to the end of your other eyebrow symmetric Okay, from the end of your eyebrow to your chin and from your chin to the end of your eyebrow okay, that's perfectly symmetric and from the end of your eyebrow to your, to your lip Perfect. And from your lip. Oh wow, you're very symmetric. Yeah. I've not seen this before. Very symmetric. Thank you. So what I'm going to do next is test the sensations of your face. Mm -hmm. I'm going to touch you with um, two different textures. May please have your palm. This is dull and this is sharp. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes and tell me which one I'm touching you with. Do. Sharp. Do. Sharp. Do. Sharp. Do. Sharp. Do. 
Sharp. Very good. Next up, I have here something that is very, very light. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little more difficult to detect it. Just keep your eyes closed and tell me yes when you feel it. I feel Next up, I'm going to move on to something that's a um, very different texture. It's very sharp, but not too sharp. So go ahead and keep your eyes closed and just say yes when you feel it. I'm going to use a device that's going to um, emit a little wave of air, mm -hmm. also just a light like pressure. Keep your eyes closed and tell me when you feel it. Okay. There. Up, I have something here that's a little more sharp than the previous mm -hmm. device that I had. Keep your eyes closed and tell me where I'm touching you on your face with it. Okay. Forehead. Cheek. Nose. Chin. Right cheek. Hairline. And left cheek. Very good. And finally, I have something that is um, going to place the most amount of pressure on your okay. face. Keep your eyes closed and just say yes when you feel it. Okay. Yes. Next up, I'm going to test um, how well your skin can detect a sensation of cold. So keep your eyes closed and tell me where I'm touching you on your face. Left cheek, right cheek, chin, forehead, left cheek. And do you feel this equally on both sides of your forehead? Yes. Do you feel this equally on both sides of your cheeks? Mm-hmm. And equally on both sides of your jawline? Mm-hmm. Okay, very good. Most excellent. So I don't see any concerns with the cranial nerves that control the sensations on your face. Mm. I'd like to take a couple of measurements of your face next. Just go ahead and close your eyes. Just relax for me. 
Can you do the OK sign for me? OK, I'm going to attempt to pull through. Don't let me do that. Oh, very good. So you're engaging those back muscles. Good. Now, shrug up for me. Very good. All right, again, lower your shoulders. I'm going to attempt to move your head side to side. Don't let me do that, so try to keep it straight. Good. And on the other side. Very good. And now I'm going to attempt to push your head back. Don't let me do that. Good. <clears throat> now I'm going to attempt to bring it forward. Don't let me do that. Very good. And open up your mouth for me. Okay, close it. Very good. And keep it down slightly open. Any pain? Want to do this? Any sensitivity? No, okay. Very good, you can. And puff out your cheeks for me. Keep them like that, don't let me unpuff them. Good. And try to push um, your tongue through your cheek. And on the other side. Very good. So no signs of any concern there. Right, next up I'm going to assess your um, vision and your eyes. Can you please look at me and at, look at the tip of my nose and try not to move your head. I'm going to flash my light and assess how well your pupils dilate and contract. Look right here. Very good. From below. From above. Excellent. So pupils dilate and contract in a normal amount at a normal rate. Try to keep your head steady mm -hmm. and just Look right here and don't move your head, only your eyes, and just follow my fingers. Any pain right here? No. Any pain right here? And any pain here? No. Very good. And right here? No. Very good. So your binocular vision is intact. Now I want you to continue keeping your head straight and I want you to touch your nose with your finger and now I want you to look into my eyes so don't break eye contact and touch my finger with your finger that finger yes and now put your finger back to your nose and now touch my finger again right here don't break eye contact all right and now touch your nose and now touch my finger again and now back to your nose touch my finger right up here now your nose again, my finger all the way over here, back to your nose, very good. And now I want you to touch both of my fingers with both of your fingers, and now put both of them back to your nose, very good. Nice. Next up, cover one eye, continue looking at the tip of my nose or in between my eyes, wherever is most comfortable, and count how many fingers I'm holding up. Two. One, five, two. Very good. Now cover the other eye. Continue looking right here. Right here. Two. Good. Five, four, one, two. Very good. Right. Now I want you to just follow the light. Okay, so eyes are moving together, synchronized movements, no skipping or lagging. Very good. Alright, next up, I'm going to assess the state of your optic nerve. And I want you to look in the distance for me. I'm going to come really close and shine another light into your eye. And um, Check the state of your cornea and your optic disc. All right, so look right there for me. Look up. 
Look down, left and right. Very good. Optic disc is intact. I'm gonna do the same with the other eye. I continue looking in the distance for me. I'm just gonna shine my light right there. Look up, look down, left, right. Very good. Um, so I'm not seeing any signs of concern with your optic discs. Okay. All right, Sarah, so I'm not able to find anything abnormal with your eyes. I'm going to focus on your ears, your nose, and your mouth next, and then we're gonna take a look at your back. Okay. Have you noticed any abnormal sounds in your ears? Anything bothering you with your ears? No. No? Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, close your eyes and tell me which ear you hear a sound with, left or right? Right. And is the sound coming towards you or away from you now? Towards. And how about now? Away. Okay, very good. I'd like to take a look inside your ear as well. Looks like your hearing is intact. So I'm going to visualize your ear canal and see if there are any infections or anything abnormal inside. Mm -hmm. Can you look over to that side for me? Tympanic membrane is intact, pearly gray color, well defined margins, no inflammation or excess fluid. Is this painful? Mm -hmm. And how about this? No. All right. I'm seeing a normal ear oracle. Very good. All right, I'm going to do the same. On this ear as well. Just going to inspect your ear oracle, which presents itself normal. Just take a look inside. Normal tympanic membrane. No signs of any inflammation. And no discharge. So ears are normal. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at your nose as well. Any problems smelling, any weird smells, anything that's, you know, out of the ordinary? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. No? Okay. I'm going to obstruct one there. Can you take a deep breath in? And out. Unobstructed, okay. And deep breath in. And out. Unobstructed. Very good. Now look up for me. I'm gonna just take a look inside. See if I see anything normal. No obstructions and no signs of a deviated septum. Oh, very good. Next up, I'm going to take a look inside your mouth. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed anything abnormal with your taste? Any mixing of tastes? Any abnormal tastes? No. no. So open your mouth and say ah, mm. ah. teeth are intact. Very good. Right, so I'd like you to remove your top and I'm gonna take a look at your back. Okay, thank you.
The tingling sensations begin right here mm -hmm. in the middle of your shoulder blade. Okay, I'm just going to assess the state of your scapulas in the back and your spine to see if anything may be potentially wrong with your spine. Starting with your cervical spine. Any pain while, while I'm palpating C1 through A little bit. C7? Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10? 4. Oh. I do feel a little bit of a muscle tension right here. Any pain when I do this? Yeah, on the right side. Okay. Alright, so that's definitely muscular. Mm, yeah, right, right there. Okay, so this is your right scapula right here. So there's a little bit more of an a ridge right here. It's a little bit more tense than on the left side. Okay. going to do the same sharp or dull test. Can you tell me if this is dull or sharp? Dull. 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 Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Good. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Good. Good. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Very good. I'm going to touch with something very, very light. Just say yes when you feel it. I feel that. Okay. Yes. I'm going to touch you with something sharp. Continue saying yes when you feel me touching. Yes. 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 this I do yes 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 Yes. Yes. Very good. Did 
Do you feel this? Yes. 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 Depressing and exhale. Depressing and exhale. Depressing and exhale. Depressing and exhale. Depressing. But Sarah, you can put your dog back on and lay down. Take it for me. Right, Sarah, are you comfortable? Yes. Okay. Close your eyes and relax. 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 Rel
I'm just going to auscultate your abdomen first and listen for any gurgling sounds or any abnormal sounds coming from your internal organs. Is it okay if I lower your pants a little mm -hmm. bit? Okay. So just relax and breathe normally for me. So I'm hearing activity in all four quadrants. No gurgling or swooshing sounds. Okay. Take a deep breath in for me. And out. Okay, can just breathe now. Lungs are clear as home. Well. Gonna listen to your heart. Clear sounds. No murmurs. No extra sounds. Very good. I'm going to do a light palpation. Go ahead and breathe normally. I'm going to assess the size of your internal organs and look for any masses or lumps. Okay. Size of your stomach is normal. I'm going to do a little bit of a deeper palpation. No masses or lumps out. Very good. Right. I'm going to touch you with the same dull sensation. Keep your eyes closed and just say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 And is this sharp or dull? Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. 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 And I'm going to touch you with something a little bit sharper and just say yes when you feel it. Yes. on your legs next. Any pain in your hips and your lower back when I pull up? Oh, feels good. Feels good? Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Now I want you to flex this leg. All the way up, try to bring it to your chest. Any pain there? No, it just feels great. <laughs> <laughs> Any pain when you stretch it out like this? Mm -mm. Good. Okay, lower it, let's do the same with this other one. Stretch it all the way in. Flex towards your chest. Any pain there? Okay, and up. Any pain there? Good, you can lower it. Alright. 
right I'm going to evaluate your legs next any pain when I press on them okay. so no signs of any edema normal color on your right foot Any pain when I press down on your plantar region? Okay. Capillary refills within two seconds, which is normal. No moles, no redness, no swelling, normal skin temperature. Going to check your pedal pulse to plus and compare it with the one on your other foot, they are synchronized. Do you feel this? Mm -hmm. And how about this? Okay. Is this sharp or dull? Sharp. To say yes when you feel me touching you? Yes. 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 Do you feel this? Mm-hmm. Okay, just say yes when you feel me touching you. I'm going to go in with the lighter sensation to say yes when you feel it. Mm. Uh, yes. Mm, good. Do you feel this? No. How about this? A little. this Focus on your left foot next. Any pain?
pain when I palpate the plantar region of your left foot. Huh? Any pain here? No. Here? No. Here. You feel this? Yes. 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 Do you feel this? And this? Mm -hmm. And this? come back up now. Right Sarah, so I did a very detailed examination starting from your head all the way down to your toes. I've assessed pretty much all of the cranial nerves um, that control the sensations in your body. I've checked your skin sensitivity very thoroughly. I'm not able to see anything that's a red flag. I want you to continue monitoring the tingling sensation and if mm -hmm. it does intensify, I want you to come back and see me. Okay, sounds good. I placed um, some kinesiology tape on your back mm -hmm. and that should uh, help stretch out the muscles and hopefully relax that part of your oh, thank back. You. Yeah. I believe that there's something muscular going on with you. Maybe you worked out a little bit too intense or maybe you did a very sudden move that kind of pulled mm -hmm. a muscle in your back. Um, so I do believe that tingling sensations are going to disappear. But let's keep an eye on them and come mm -hmm. back to see me in a month if they don't go away. How long do I have to keep the tape on? A couple of days okay. at the minimum. I want you to shower with it there. You can just wipe it off with the towel, but do keep it on. Um, and. Um, yeah, try not to, you know, get it um, mm -hmm. stuck in any clothes or anything. Just keep it on there for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Could you please send me the the link to your ASMR channel so maybe you can help me sleep? Absolutely, I will make sure Great. to send you send you the link, and it's going to help you relax and quiet your mind, and um, just help you drift into sleep without any concern. <laughs> Looking forward to try. Thank you so much.